Welcome to another video. Somewhere in this woodland behind me is an abandoned railway tunnel and I'm going to find it. Let's go. Do a little bit of foraging, aren't we, shall we? Whatever I can find. Gorse flower. I've said this before. Makes for a nice little snack. You can't mistake it for anything else. You know, these prickly bushes. And uh, yeah, I really like the taste of it. And some people say it tastes a bit coconutty, but I can't. Not for me. Looks proper Pinterest if you just bang a few of these on top of your salad. Mmm. Crack on. Going off piste a little bit, just following these animal tracks. It'll have to be inside of a hill, won't it, if it's a tunnel? Here. Uh, I mean, not the best example, but there's quite a few of them actually kicking about. And this is a wild edible. Look how pretty that is. The Scarlet Elf Cup. You'd think that'd be poisonous, but it's not. It's perfectly edible. And sometimes, if you no, it's not going to do it, but in the right light, the right specimen, you can see them release their spores into the air, which is pretty cool. Uh, they're a pain to clean up, but I've got my knife, so I'm going to collect a few of these, and we'll clean them up. And I've got a couple of eggs in my bag, so I'll maybe do a little wild mushroom omelette or scrambled egg and wild mushrooms or something like that once we get once we've dealt with the tunnel, wherever it may be. There. <laughs> I can see it. Creepy. Hiya mate. Oosh. Oh, there's flies everywhere. Oh, it stinks. Mate. Oh, that stinks. That stinks, and it's freezing cold in there. Right, let's get in there. Let's just saddle up. Let's saddle up and get in there. The reason I'm the reason I'm here uh, is I've just come down to get some to find it to get some B-roll for a film I'm making, which is to do with this tunnel. Oh. I just thought, while I'm down here B-rolling it, I might as well just make a separate video and we'll go and have a look. We'll have a proper look inside it. Now you're scared. You're scared, mate. I don't have any battery on it, but I brought this, which is a, doubles up as a bit of a bosher. <laughs> Tactical torch, powerful. Just in case there's any. Any wrong uns in there? Come on then you, let's go. Boggy. It's 
is boggy and it stinks, which is two things I look for when I'm uh, exploring. It's full of water, it's full of water, full of water. Lieutenant Stinkhorn. Shit! Oh no! Nearly. It looks to be full of water, let's have a look. Are we just gonna do it or what? Should we have a last look at what we've... Last look at... Look how nice it looks out there. I'll never remember the time I didn't go through a creepy abandoned tunnel in Middle Woods, will I? And uh, on that note, let's go. Let's go. Don't drop the camera. <sighs> <laughs> oh, look at it. Echo. Let's go. I can still hear birds chirping, so that's all right, isn't it? Right. Uh, let's torch. Yes. Look at it. It's a pretty, pretty wet. I'm not gonna. Oh, it's nearly above. It's almost above wellies. Oh dear me. Right, let's go. Say goodbye. Goodbye, lovely woodland. Hello. Wet, dark tunnel. Oh, what's that? One light left on battery on torch, so we'll have to move on. Oh. I assume these are little, these little alcoves are for people when, because it's not very. It's not very wide, so I assume these little alcoves are for people to hide in if trains come in. I guess. Uh -huh. Look at that. The deep hole there. Good job I've got my torch. Good job I've got my torch. The torch that battery's going on it a bit. Can you see? You can barely see, can you? I can't either. There's a dead medic! Railway sleeper. Oh, medic. Shh. Listen. You can't, hear, you can't hear birds singing anymore, can you? <laughs> There's a that safety look. We're far from it now. Come on. Come on. This is it. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? Stalactites. It's dripping through there, so it's it's a bit wet. What's surprising is how cold it is. It's all, it's uh, when you're making mucking about in these tunnels, it's they're so cold, man. I guess we are underground. What's round the corner? Hello. Hello. Should I turn the light off? Look. There you go. <laughs> Pitch black. You can see where we came in. That's all right. Come on. Puddles everywhere. Imagine that just something behind me. Hello? <sighs> right. Uh, can't really... Can't really see much. Doesn't make for a good video, does it? Just me walking through a pitch black tunnel. Uh, what I will say though is this: uh, I'm here to. I've got to keep my wits about me, man, because you don't know what you don't know what's uh, how deep these some of these holes are. But water in. What's that? What's this wooden box? Looks like he's got, 
like upside down steps or something. I'm just muttering to the camera, you know, like on Blair Witch Project, because, it, you know, when they get a bit freaked out, they talk to the camera, don't they? There she is. Can you see? Hey, another box, look. They've got numbers on them. Wagwan. Can you see parts of the old railway there? There's light, look, at the end of the tunnel. Is that someone's... Can you imagine that? Just someone, just a silhouette of some dude stood there. No thanks. Cheers, but no cheers. The torch has made it. Let's turn it off. This is just a, like a club now. Squinted into the sun, hello. Hello. Med it. Don't know where I am, but I made it. <laughs> There's a river down there. Looks nice. I'm off for a plunge down there. Some cold water therapy after that. Exercise the demons. <laughs> and then maybe. Hey, up this video is turning into just hanging out for the day with me if you want. So, this is where I have to say sorry to everyone who jumped in. To the video because they wanted to see the tunnel and that was just the tunnel there but if you want to stick around and go for a wild swim and let's jump over this some primrose another wild edible make sure they're not full of bugs eh? the whole plant is edible don't mistake them for these though. I'll we'll just sing. Woodland and enemy. Oosh. Not so edible. Right, this video is turning into a foraging video, not a tunnel video. Sorry about that. Uh, another wild edible. A violet, wood violet. Pretty little thing used to be used for cooking sort of flavorings flavoring sugar and stuff tastes a little bit like parma violet wild edible and the leaves but the seeds and the roots are toxic so not all the plant is edible with that one so just tread with caution you can smell it before you see it Beautifully fragrant wild garlic. Oh, it smells so good. We'll chuck some of this in our uh, for with our dinner as well. Barely looks deep enough, but it'll ding dang do. USA, USA. Got my USA pants on, American flag. <laughs> Shout out all my uh, American man dem and lady dem. Oh. Fat knacker, let's go. Oh, it's cold. Cold. It's cold. Hey. Hey, look, I'm right, David. Are we? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Refreshing. Don't have to get me duds off though, so avert your gaze. You get the old buff back on, otherwise people might think we're not an ex-footballer stroke boy band member. There's one in wing column for American pants. Yeehaw. That's how impromptu it is, mate. We didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know I was going wild swimming and foraging and all that. Uh, truth be known, I've even been foraging. <laughs> I've been foraging on coast this morning, but it wasn't up to much. It wasn't up to much. I found like I found a few bits and pieces, but it really wasn't up to much. So it's turning out to be a right day. 
Wunderbar. Sweet. I'm not even. I'm not warm enough to keep hoodie on. Hoodie Harrelson. Join me for a bite to eat, and then I'll say goodbye. I just want a tiny little fire because it's only eggs, mushrooms, wild garlic. It's not going to take a long time. So, a nice simple fire lay will do. What do we have to start a fire? You can't tell from looking at it, but dusty old bit of fat wood. Can't really get a grip on it, but that'll do. have to do and then uh, use the back end of the knife the 90 degree angle and just create some finer shavings that'll take Ben Teke look at state of me fire rod man seen better days I think nothing too strenuous there you go That's all she wrote. Get it under some of these, look. I'll just burn away nicely while I find some little bits. There's my eggs. In this, one of the best things I've ever bought. Armour plated. It's just basically egg armour. So you can take them wherever you want. And they, it comes in a six. It also comes in a two pack as well. A two pack Chacot, which is pretty cool. I'll leave a link for that below if you're interested. For you egg fans. I've shown this before. If you just get a normal oh, frying pan of your choice, and uh, unscrew the handle and then get one of these pot holders. Hey up man, that's smoky isn't it? Which makes it light, easier to pack and a lot lighter. Right, get it on. Get them in there. Moss, get out. In with the Scarlet Elf Cups. I'm gonna, gonna, gonna put a few in because I can't be jank to tidy them all up. Couple of eggs in. Rudimentary like. And then just rip up some wild garlic. And in with that. <laughs> it looks pretty. Pretty as a picture. If you don't know, now you know. Some, it's just like salt, garlic, herbs. It's delicious. A bit of Tubby Tom's magic. And as you can see, it doesn't take much at all, really. I'm ready for this, it's been a long day at work. It has been a long day. Get some of these Scarlet Elf Cups into me. Crunchy, I bet. Big. Mm 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 mm. Mm. Delightful. Wild garlic. Pungent and delicious, as always. Mmm! Nice view of the river.
There we are. No trace whatsoever. Oh, I'm running out of battery. I'm gonna go down to this river and wash my hands. Right, my battery's running out. I'm gonna go down to this river and wash my hands and then soak up some of the rays for the rest of the day. But I'll leave it here. I'll leave this video here anyway. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone's doing okay. Much love and I'll see you soon. Ta-ta. I'm just going to leave you till the battery goes out. I am going to come back up. I'm going to go wash my hands. If you're still on when I get back, I'll say see you. But for now, ciao. Ciao, Bella.